all right guys welcome back to my channel it's another aberdeen news update and of course as you can tell by the title and if you have seen in the news ramadani has been linked with a move away to lecce or lease in italy um and i'm gonna focus this whole video on ramadani we're gonna talk about what he's done for aberdeen um during last season and we're going to talk about what could happen and who we could actually not i'm not going to talk about who we could replace him with if he does leave but we're just going to talk about um basically ramadani in general and there's obviously the potential that he could leave the club after only a year after only one season when he's missing out on european football if he does leave the club obviously he'd probably get more money at least and on football money does talk above everything but i think if i was ramadani i'd be staying at aberdeen because the chances he's got he'll get a game he get he gets games every single week then again he probably might get a game every week for leche or i'm just gonna say lease i might get a game every week for lease but um i think if he he's i definitely think i'm not just saying it because i like him and he's a good player and he plays for aberdeen but in my opinion he should stay at Aberdeen he's playing European football and like I said he does get a game every single week so why would you want to leave that obviously like I said money talks in football but obviously he very easily could just stay at Aberdeen he still gets a decent wage and he gets European football now um let's talk about let's look at Ramadani so what when he came in from it was the same was, we got him from the Hungarian league it was the same team I think it was the same team that Boyan Mjofsky played for um can't don't ask me what the name of the team was but and um, when we signed him it was a lot he was our first he was our first signing under goodwin and he was very hyped up and um, we've seen him in the first few games in the premier sports cup he was very very good um against Sterling albion of course i've logged that game and he was very very good in that game he was brilliant holding up the ball in the field passing getting forward and then of course we got to the start of the season and he didn't really look the same player and of course, maybe it took him. It obviously took him a while for him to sell in to the new system and style of play of the Scot because the Hungarian league is very different to the Scottish Premiership. And as soon as well, as soon as he got settled in and hit the ground running, he was brilliant. He scored. Uh, how many goals did he score? I think he scored. I know he scored against Hibs. I can't remember. I think he might have scored another one. Uh, I can't remember, but I think he did score more than one goal. I might be wrong on that, but um, he certainly won. Obviously, he was probably the only. I think during Aberdeen's bad games, um, like uh, like the Dun United four 0 the Rangers four one, the Hibs five, the Hibs six 0 and the Hearts five 0 Um, Ramadani was always the player that stood out as one of the only players who put effort in on the pitch. Uh, of course, well, Shinny, you could count Shinny in that bracket as well. But um, we did obviously see that um, Ramadani has a lot of quality. He's very good at holding up the ball. He's brilliant going forward. His passing is fantastic. He's really strong. Um, he's a brilliant midfielder. And if he does go away, I would I would hope that he should get game. He should get a game every single week because he deserves it. If he goes away to lease, um, but I think he's in. I think he's twenty seven. That's the sort of age he's in his football. He's in his prime, but I think he should still stay at Aberdeen, maybe until his contract, and then he might go back to Albania when his contract ends. I think he's still in. I think he's still in contract for a few more years. Um, he's a very good player, and I think I never actually I never expected him to potentially be one who could leave. I didn't think he'd be one of them who'd be potentially leaving. I knew there'd be interest in Mjolski and Duke. And but I didn't actually expect there to be. I, I expect there to be maybe a little rumor floating about, but I didn't expect it to be as big as this. It looks like he's generally going to go to Lace. Um, I thought maybe there'd be, like I said, I thought maybe there'd be a wee rumor saying, oh, you might go to this team, we might go to that, but it's a very low chance. It was actually look like it's a very high chance he'll leave Aberdeen. Obviously, he still might not. He might stay at the club, um, but. He might go for the money. I don't know. I don't. I don't think Lee are in any European competition. So I think it'd be quite stupid for him to leave, because Europe is a chance for him to prove himself, and he might get a bigger move than Lee if he proves himself. If he proves his quality in Europe, um, I'm guessing. I don't really know what else to talk about because 
all i just wanted to focus this video on ramadani because i'm just still quite in shock that there's potential over him leaving um aberdeen fans i don't think i can't i don't speak i can't stop speaking highly enough of him when i'm speaking to my friends when they ask me who do you think's aberdeen's best signing last season and they ask me that and i generally say ramadani i say ramadani and duke because I think Ramadani is bring brought we last season under Stephen Glass. No, the season under Stephen Glass, sorry, not last season. We struggled with the midfield. We had a couple of decent midfielders, but we really struggled with midfield quality. We had Ferguson, of course, and we had Teddy Jenks, but we didn't really have a proper good DM who can play forward. This season we got Ramadani. Last season we got Ramadani, and he did exactly that. And he really brought some midfield quality. He brought solid. He, and <laughs> um, he gave the midfield more solidarity. If that's the correct word, he made the midfield so much more solid, so much more high quality, and just made it that whenever we got the ball in the middle of the park, there was always a chance that we'd go forward and score because he'd play a perfect ball through. But I guess that'll be it for this video. Um, I'll make sure the comments are enabled for this one. Um, I'll do my best because for some reason it turns them off. I don't know why. Um, YouTube turned them off. I don't know why. I, I don't really know what happens. Um, maybe it's because no one comments. I have no idea. But um, put what you guys think of Ramadani potentially leaving it in the comments. Put any video suggestions for Aberdeen if you want. I mean, I'm kind of struck from just doing news and Leicester news, of course. But I guess that's the end of the video. Please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for the next video on my channel.